So you are thinking about selling your house, but it's got problems. And you're not sure if selling your house as is even possible without taking a big loss on your home's equity. These are valid points and concerns to say the least. To help you feeling at ease, whether to selling your house as is right for you, let's look at the five most common reasons homeowners just like you decide to sell the house in its as is condition. And we are starting right now. What is selling as is meaning in real estate? It simply means that you want to improve or make any repairs to the property and will not give any credits for the repairs to the buyer either that is purchasing your house. That's it. One of the reasons to selling your house as is usually circles around finances. You either don't have the money to spare to make the repairs or upgrades to the house. These usually involve the kitchen, the bathroom, paint, flooring upgrades, and even roof, HVAC foundation repair, exterior paint, and such. Second reason you might want to sell your house as is, you want to save time. Some of my clients just don't want to bother and just want to be done with selling the house and move on. Or decide to sell as is because you don't have the time or you just don't want to go through the stress and the process involved to get the house ready for marketing. If you're curious about what really takes place in getting your house ready to sell, take some time and watch this video up on the top right corner later. Third reason you will consider selling your house as is, is because you live out of state or far. Say like 25 miles away or more. Sometimes selling a house as is makes more sense mathematically, like we did with my client John recently. We got three contractors to provide cost of repairs and upgrades for the cosmetic repairs and upgrading the kitchen and bathrooms. The cost with material would have been $50,000 and the estimated sold price of $475,000 after the renovations are completed. An estimated time for completing the renovations was to be approximately six to eight weeks. And that is assuming all the material will be readily available without any delays at all. In John's case, spending the bare minimum of $50,000 for the repairs and upgrades would bring the house to sell for $35,000 more than selling the house as is. And if John would shell out for high-end renovations to make his home in moving and ready and mint condition, John would have most likely ended up with $15,000 negative loss, maybe even more. In John's case, being that he lives out of state, going through the trouble didn't make any sense and we sold his house in as is condition for 23% more than an investor would have paid for his house in its as is condition. Obviously your situation might be different. It wouldn't hurt to get estimates from contractors and talking to a local realtor to help you figure out all the numbers. Here's a tip for you. Be very, very selective about the realtor you choose to assist you with this. You don't want to leave any money or equity on the table. Real quick here, as I must by law introduce myself. My name is Esfir Popolevsky. I'm with Supreme Home Sales, a licensed real estate broker in New York and New Jersey. Please also like this video if you want to get access to valuable real estate knowledge. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell notification. Thank you. Let's get to reason number four. You would consider to sell your house as is. You are a landlord, might be living locally or even out of town. Your tenants moved out. They left the property in poor shape. You are changing gears, maybe consolidating your single family homes into an apartment building, maybe a commercial property, or maybe you want to do business elsewhere. Some of my clients locate another property that they want to exchange and buying it, utilizing the 1031 exchange make a lot of sense, so they have to sell this one. It makes more sense to you in this case to sell as is and move on because time is more important than money. 
And last but not least, reason number five you might consider selling your houses is, is a probate or an inheritance. Say you inherited the property. Maybe you have siblings, maybe you don't, and it's great. Having a piece of real estate is an absolute fortune. If you don't want to move into this home and decide that you just want to sell it, you might realize that selling it as is makes a lot more sense. Talk to someone credible about selling your house as is. Whether you are just thinking about it or maybe even made up your mind already, the first step is to talk to your real estate agent and don't do this alone. I welcome your comments. I welcome your questions. I'm looking forward to you liking this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you at the next video and thank you for watching.